Go ahead. Well, I'm Mary Manella, and I was born in Greendale, Wisconsin, which was a federal project, as was this area. And um, this is my husband, Ted. Yeah, hi, I'm, I'm Ted Manella, and uh, just as Mary said, uh, I was also born in Greendale and lived most of my life there. And uh, now we're involved in the Greendale Historical Society and working on restoration and preservation of, uh, of our Greenbelt town, very similar to uh, uh, you folks here in Trussville. So what, tell, tell me a little bit about that history in Greendale. How did that, uh, how'd that town come about? Well, that's what's so interesting about our visit here today with you folks is that we have so many similarities. Uh, uh, first of all, we both started in 1936 with building. Uh, and in my uh, understanding is that uh, you opened for people to live here in April of 1938. We opened in May of 1938. So we can, uh, we can almost celebrate our, our birthdays at the same <laughs> time. Uh, but we are also part of the Resettlement Administration uh, project under FDR at that same time, of course, in the, in the Great Depression. So what does, uh, what does the Greendale Historical Society, folks like you, what is it y'all are doing now to uh, you know, kind of remember that past and that history and make sure that it's in the forefront of people's minds today? Well, the, the Greendale Historical Society's mission, uh, we have a clear mission statement, and that's to preserve the history of original Greendale and to share that history of Greendale with uh, current owners and visitors to Greendale. So uh, one of our major projects uh, recently completed was the preservation of two historic buildings in the center of Greendale. Uh, one was the uh, Department of Public Works and uh, traditionally called the Hose Tower, was next to the fire department, and the Preserve the Fire Department building. And this is your first time through Trustful's Cahaba Project? It this is. Our, this is our first time it's through. It's so exciting. Uh, what have you all thought that. about it? Well, I think that the government did a lovely job here. I think they, uh, you know, you have beautiful homes, beautiful lots, um, the layout is nice. I, I your school, um, original school building, everything. Uh, we're, we're quite impressed. We love our town and we think it looks fairly nice as well. But I think this is, um, this project seems like it might've been more uh, expensive than what probably Greendale was at the time, but I know both used you know, WPA laborers and uh, artists. Um, that's the one thing I have to ask about. If you have any artistic um, stuff within the town that they used any of the um, out of work artists to do any murals or anything like that. We'll have to check. We'll check. That's, that's a yeah. good thing to check on. Mm -hmm. What's uh, What's been the, the favorite part of the visit so far? Well, uh, for me, and then I'm sure Mary's going to have some uh, uh, ideas as well. Uh, our initial reaction to the town was that we, uh, I guess, got an initial uh, feeling of uh, how well people, uh, for the most part, um, maintain their homes and how their uh, their pride was evidenced by uh, some yard signs that said to keep it quaint. That was the first reaction, and then we also noticed as we looked a little closer. Uh, a kind of a plaque with the house number on it uh, that identified that house as one of the project homes. And we thought, well, that, that's just a great example of uh, the pride of, of ownership. Uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and history. And the history as well. Yeah. And then uh, when we went to the uh, Heritage Hall, uh, our visit with, uh, with you folks, uh, explaining to us the kind of the dual history of the area uh, that goes back prior to 1936 and the uh, the WPA aspect of it. So mm -hmm. uh, all of those things uh, have made our visit uh, very enjoyable. What do you think it's important for a, an area that has, like Trustful has the Cahaba Project, Greendale, what, why is it important to tell that story, to preserve that story for generations to come? What What's important about that? Well, one of the things we do um, is often teach some classes at our local schools and also give tours uh, to um, the, particularly the eighth grade class each year is studying community and studying some different projects like that and so we let them know because sometimes they just aren't aware of how unique their community is in that respect. Historically, 
and the goals for it, you know, the principles for why it was developed. And you want to try to keep those things in mind and perhaps, you know, have them realize that when they become homeowners as well, you know. That's yeah. It seems to it seems to add value to a community. It, it preserves that heritage and mm -hmm. adds value even though the homes are older. I mean, mm -hmm. they're well taken care of. It, it yeah. can really uh, maintain and really value a neighborhood even more, it seems like. I think so too. So what do you think, uh, Trustful specifically with this Cahaba project, what, what does the city have with this development here? How, how would you describe it? I mean, it's 2021 built between 1936 and 1938, still mm -hmm. mostly intact. What, what does this city have with this? Well, one, uh, one way I would look at it is that the city, its design and its history really creates a, a living museum. Uh, one of the questions that people ask when they come to Greendale is, where's the museum? And, uh, you know, you have a very fine museum here, which I'm sure you're proud of, rightfully. Uh, but Greendale, we don't have the space and we don't have that deep a history, really, that, that you do. So we don't have an official museum, but we tell people it's a living museum. And as Mary was talking about, uh, Greendale was designed for pedestrians. There, there are paths and walkways uh, interconnecting the entire community. It's very compact. So when people come to Greendale, we take them on a walking tour. And I think, you know, in, in your community, uh, maybe you've done the same thing, but you certainly would have that opportunity. And I think for, for you folks to uh, share your history with people, uh, that might be something uh, that people would enjoy doing when they come to Trustville, uh, to see your living museum. Oh, yes. Uh, as we did, just, mm -hmm. just by walking around the short time we, were, we did, and uh, uh, I think we drove up and down every street, and uh, I must have taken 20, <laughs> 20 pictures of various houses. So uh, from our standpoint, you know, that, that's a good reflection on, on you folks as a community that, that you're taking pride in it as well. And, maybe come up with ways that you can share it with the public. The Cahaba Homestead Heritage Foundation wishes to thank Ted and Mary Manella for visiting the Cahaba Project and speaking with us about their experience.